Hi, I'm Steve Pendlebury, alias Steve UK405. It's Steve Longsail Workshop. And a bit, bit, basically a big thank you, shout out in this video to uh, Osnodge on, on uh, Nyland, who, who's given this uh, channel a shout out. And I've got a lot of new people as a result. So before the next video starts, I'd like to say that you're all, all very welcome and please get in touch if you want any advice. My email address is on the system. We've got to convince the computer you're not a robot. I'm sure you're not. But um, welcome aboard. I hope you enjoy the video. When I was a child, many, many moons ago, my grandma bought a radio by Bandertone or Binetone, depending on your viewpoint. And um, I found out that that radio was a simple... Uh, job from the era and uh, early mid 70s and um, it came out under various brand names like most of them did but Banneton, Benetton. This is a Falcon but it's the same radio inside so um, had a hear nor there. Actually, well, I was a kid with this actually. I used to, I used to love trying to find out what, what was going on in Jerusalem. So they are there, you see. Jerusalem. So I don't know quite what we're doing in the Dell, but there it was, and so I got one. And let's have a quick look because I want to break from uh, Reebok T recorders for now and uh, make it something uh, hopefully simpler. Hopefully. First of all, I noticed this, um, there's some, uh, some problems with battery acid. So we'll start by taking that out, completely out, all of it. Like that. And uh, look at that. Yeah. I said, what I'll do, these radios will work on 9 volts, which, which is cheaper and easy, and easy to get. So I, I've got um, a 9 volt battery and, um, and a clip. So I'll, um, this one too, I will convert to 9 volts. So um, first thing I'll do is take this lot off and uh, We'll get the set working on 9 volts and we'll take it from there. So that lot, um, the batteries will have to come out obviously. And um, so look at that, you see, everywhere, battery acid. This is what happens when a radio, the battery, I mean, I mean, yeah. This one, it does appear to have got down to the to circuit itself, so uh, we might be okay, well, but we should be. So we'll come to that after I've um, got rid of that lock and go straight in the bin. Uh, right, okay, so that lock can go straight in the bin where it belongs, and that one will have to be cleaned and battery clips taken off so that will uh, uh, that will go and um, wait uh, over there and we'll uh, we'll come back to it there's no no circuit for this by the way but that doesn't really matter in cases like this because of course you know you don't need a circuit to uh, repair something like this um, first thing you do as always have a look around like that and we'll see straight away that it's, it, it that was, I, I think actually it might be uh, silicon the 8 plus is it? I don't know, it might be, it might not be, I don't know yet. Um, that That's a po positive there, that's a negative. And the negative goes to volume control, which suggested is actually uh, part of it anyway is uh, negative. These dome top resistors like that one, yeah, like uh, like that one. You like uh, that that one there. They do actually have a problem with uh, with failing, so that might be a problem. Um, there's some wires off here. Um, two are linked together, and one isn't. So I notice there's no uh, wave chain switch on the side again. That's not a problem. We can deal with that because I've got a switch somewhere. Well, but 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 I'll go on the side here and put that back to normal. And the aerial goes in there, and uh, that's the uh, the speaker circuit there. Now, why it's got these on the end of it, I don't know. Um, we'll uh, we'll get rid of those while while we're about it. 
and also I'll uh, look at a way of uh, getting that to um, kindly stay out of the way. There we go, so till that comes off, like that, and this comes off. So that's two both pieces of wire hang it. It's in that now hanging it hanging it around and getting in the way. Now with here I've got a, a battery clip and it should somewhere around here be a battery but that'll that'll wait for now. So I'll uh, I'll I'll get a battery and then we'll uh, come back and uh, we'll see. If this, uh, if this lovely radio is going to do a thing interesting like work, it might look at the box. It might, it might not. I do know that these these dome top transistors um, you know, it's uh, these here. They do actually fail, so um, there might be a problem there. It's just, it's some standard. Um, Red is the offset circuit. Dem3 are IFs. This is the audio stage here. And it's, what's it? it's a pretty standard, um, well, they're not very, uh, they're not very good at uh, making these brilliant, but uh, we can make them work. Um, so I'll just go and uh, find another battery. Here's a battery which I've, which, I've, which I've got, PP3. The run of PP3, no problem. But always make sure that everything connects up and works properly and the right way around before you um, before you uh, connect it. It's good practice, even with a set of cheap as this. Good practice is always good practice. Okay, battery's okay. Positive, positive, negative, negative. And so now, of course, we go to the uh, negative rail down here. That goes into there like that. Now this set uh, negative to, to the off switch, so that will go to there, and it does. And uh, so negative goes to negative like that. See if that uh, on positive goes to positive. So um, again here, uh, that goes into there, and th this should go to positive on the board, which is here, and it does. Okay. Just, just, just okay. So. Uh, now this goes into there and this goes into here like that. Hope they uh, they connect okay by the way because sometimes they don't. I'll just uh, check and make sure that they do. Like that. Hopefully that's all right. And so now of course we should get a, a, a voltage between there and uh, on there, which we do. Okay, so without any further ado, let's switch on and see what happens, shall we? This is the bit there, uh, it's, like, it's either work, not work, or go bang, as we say in the trade.
but try it. So it's the A lot more uh, distorted than it should be. Um, First of all, with this one, I noticed that one of the two output transistors is getting a lot warmer than the other one. It's run for, run for, for a minute, and at this point now, I'm going to check and see what the voltages are like on the battery, because it might, it, it, it might, it might go them down very quickly. 8.4 straight away. 8.4 immediately. Yeah, look at that. Eight point four straight away. So in 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 the time that this has been on so far, it has it is basically taking taken voltage off the off this battery, which is now you know um, it will still run it because these are run, 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 run down to six volts. But uh, obviously something here is not. Uh, not as it should be, and I bet you anyway that one or both of those are faulty. So at this point, we um, put that back inside like that, and um, we take the three knobs off the front. Take these three knobs off the front, like so, like so, and also like so. Okay, then go back on later, and of course, on the back here, there's uh, screws holding the printed circuit board down, which also have to be uh, removed some circuit rather quickly. So I'll we'll, uh, get something which will which will shift them, and uh, have, 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 have a good look at that. Um, those output transistors, which I bet you any money will be the problem with this radio it's quite simple and you can use it when it when it when it comes just like that is an open circuit that way use big bertha here and two things are, are apparent one 
it will sound particularly bad, as you as you heard this one did, and it will also take the battery down rather quickly. Now we don't know what these transistors are, I'm afraid. So so I need to bundle the unit again with them off so that it'll um, I can find out what they are and what will go in that place. Another thing with these sets, by the way, that, that you must always look out for is hidden screws that hold things in place. For example, these sets have one right hidden beneath the uh, boy, the antenna, right here. Look, if, 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 so you can see, under under the antenna, there is one which is. Uh, holding everything in place. Now, um, this you, this one will come out, but I'm, but I'm fairly sure in this case, this particular one will not go back because I, um, you know, I think it'll work, it'll work perfectly well without it. Why I have to do that, I don't know. Um, these, I'm probably not meant to be serviced, but um, you know, compared to today's stuff, there's still more chance of getting a set like this working, which is what we're going to do. Uh, now, the two transistors in question are these here, and I, like I said, I bet, and also with this, I noticed that um, there's an eight-foot transformer and uh, it, it just says coupling transformer um, so again the first thing you do in, in all these cases is simply look that's all you need to do look look at what they are as well um, you know that's something which uh, we need to think about and uh, sort out uh, exactly what they're meant to be So positive, so positive here, which one, whichever one positive is, uh, I think it's probably going to be um, with this one here, goes to the 8 foot transistor, so that grips onto there like that, and that should go into that, it does. To here, to here, and that is uh, that is looking as though it's um, certainly past its best. Well, what, what I want to know at this point now is which part of it is. Um, the, the positive goes in the middle and the output goes to these two transistors. Okay. And from there now I've got 1.79 1.79 ohms to what I think is probably the basis. And the eight puts go. Yeah, yeah okay. So one of these is short circuit. So um with it switched on now, if we go neg uh, negative like that, we should see, well, basically, not a lot. I'll just put that, put that on, there we are. Put that so that uh, it, it, it doesn't get anything it shouldn't. 
and uh, and so that goes to there goes to there and to there to there 7.9 ohms that's not very really good there is it then to there which is basically time basically not do very much at all so We'll, so, we, so then we know that the middle goes to there. We know the middle goes to there, goes to there, and goes to there. Okay. Six ohms that way, and seven ohms. I think that way. I'll check that. Yeah. Seven point eight ohms that way, and down that way. So both of these transistors are uh, probably faulty, which is probably what put this lovely, lovely radio out of action in the first place. So let's have a look and see if we find out what these are, shall we? Now, with sets like this, um, you know, don't try to be exact if you don't actually get the, uh, the right transistors to hand. Um, so let's see if we can see if we can see what they are. Of course, at this stage, job like this begin to suck because if, if a look is right under here, and I don't want to take take that off because of course I don't want to uh, have to rethread it. That's something else which uh, I have to think about. So um, yeah. Okay. Well, if I was to um, get my soldering iron and the soldering thingy, that's a thingy, by the way. If, if in doubt, it's called a thingy. Okay. The soldering iron thingy and some solder. And I think what we'll do, what what, what, what I think what what we could do in this state here is take one of these off. Take one of these off here. From that, we'll see if we'll see if we'll see if the radio. Then we'll, then we'll find out which one is faulty. If I need, if if I if, if I can only manage to get one of them sorted, as it were. So that one comes out like that. See if it's um, you know something. Being in a workshop like this, where everything is uh, it, it is a mess when it comes in, you sometimes wonder, you know, you, you, you do you do yearn for a simple job. You don't get one, but you yearn for one. You really do. And um, this one too. What I'm doing here is I'm, 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 I'm getting these transistors out of the circuit so that we can uh, find out which one is, uh, is being uh, being obstinate, shall we say? Which one is which one is which one is making the problem a lot worse than it should be? This is the very basic, but I admit not very well drawn. Class A B circuit used in most of these radio speaker. Input transformers here. Yeah. Pod, the battery goes into the input transformer and go, goes to both the transistors, which in this unit were both faulty by the way. So I whipped them out. And um emissions go to uh, the, the go to deck, usually the resistor, the usually capacitor somewhere as well, but I'm not, not that I'll put that out there just for um, 
the simplicity's sake, and of course it goes to, to the uh, intermediate transformer here. So that's basically it. Was basically somewhere in push pull and somewhere in class A or class A B. So that's basically how they work. Now um, with about the circuit, now one thing one thing you can do with these uh, these these batteries, these P three threes, is you can actually set the radio up so that you can actually um, can actually see the current draw on them, which I'm going to do right now. It's playing, just as you can see. It, it was a a a, 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 a does go get through, and you can see now that's nine point five milliamps rather than what, what was there before so um, those capacitors the, those resistors are obviously faulty that's uh, that goes without it's saying now what they are it doesn't say on, on what they are um, so we have to go and look now first of all chances are that they are um, npn okay look at them look at the circuit they're probably npn so you find a couple of MTN transistors, put them in, and uh, hopefully, we sleep so can put transistors in. It starts. To, it might start to play again properly, and uh, maybe decently as well. That's the next thing we have to do. I've got a couple of well, couple of transistors somewhere which might do it, so I'll get those and put them in. They don't have to be exactly the same type that was in there before. Any. Any type will do in the situation, you know. But um, I've, I've, I found a couple of the same type that will do in there and uh, put them in, and uh, hopefully that will have um, some uh, some signal. With radio, unfortunately, though, like many of these sets, um, these jobs tend to suck because they are actually behind behind here, behind the uh, tuning dial here. So the tuning dial will have to come off to so get underneath to uh, change them, which is um, which is one of those things. But you know these things happen. In this game, sometimes even the simple job like this can can become decent, can become, shall we say, de decent, but can give you troubles with simple things like that. So um, bother. It. If we put this out of the way now, I can get in there, take out the clear the holes out, and put uh, two transistors in, and then we'll try it. It's uh, simple enough to do. Then, of course, I'll look back and find out uh, what else there might be. Also, the couple of electrodes on this board as well, so I might change those while I'm at it. And hopefully, this radio will then work. If it does, then of course I'll put the I'll put the uh, wave chain switch back in, give it a clean. And all will be well. That's that's a, that's a plan anyway. With these sets, you always have to have a plan of some sort. As I said, sometimes a simple job starts to suck because of um, various things with it. And this is one of those jobs. It's a it's a it's a nasty radio. I know, but I want this working because my grandma would just like it. But um, how it can, can I'm working like this in its original state? I don't know. Um, here we have. I'll put it the right way up. It's that sort of day, I'm afraid, you know. Now, the right way up. See that? It's the cam. This is uh, the output stage and pre driver stage of uh, a radio of this type. The transistor with it was short circuit and it's from pulling back the battery down. I've sorted that. I've put two new ones in, but um, they had a higher um, BB voltage they, they, because. They were MPM, but they were germanium MPM, so um, I changed it to, 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 to silicon. And when I put them in, first of all, it sounded very badly distorted. It still does it in a different way, I'll come to that. But uh, the reason was that um, on a germanium transistor, the voltage between the base and the emitter, that's this voltage here, emitter to deck and base, which is a rotary interstate transformer here, under under germanium, it is 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 volts. On silicon, it's 0 0.6. I've got to, up to 0 0.58 on this, which is nearest damn it. And so that's what I've done. I've done it by changing that resistor there 
on the circuit board, this is not the circuit for this set by the way, I can't find it anywhere, so this is the circuit which I've drawn up to the computer just to, uh, to prove things. Um, so now the emitters go straight to us, okay, emitters straight to us, so they, them two are not there, okay, them two have gone, okay. Now also, what I've done here, that resistor was down at uh, 100 ohms. It's now put to 270, and that puts the bias voltage to where it should be. So that stage is now okay. Yeah, this stage is okay, and also changed the the, resist, the capacitor on the main input as well, which is now up at nine volts, but a bit lower because the, the, the battery was pulled down. Also with this, I found that the the um, the uh, ADC capacitor had filled. It's out of circuit at the moment, and without the circuit. If I was to uh, plug this radio in, which I will do, uh, right, yeah, you see we get we get this awful racket, and that racket is because of the ADC. Yeah, that's that racket is because. Of the ADC. So these capacitors, I don't know what type these are. Uh, A E I. I don't know what I, I mean, but these are the ones that's in it. And uh, in this particular case, they are, shall we, shall we say, not good capacitors. Now, also, the capacitor, the other side of it, underneath the tuning dial, underneath. So, so that's on for now. I might take it off, but, but, but uh, put the cap between there and there. It does work um, if um, everything else does. This thing is a disaster. That's on. That's on. That's on. Because of the because the ADC, this capacitor feeds RF off the ADC line to deck, and uh, with it nothing, you get all sorts of uh, horrible voltages. So uh, this radio is it, 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 it's a bit closer, and then I've got to align it, which has ever been done with this, and uh, hopefully then it will work. Um, how it worked initially. I simply do not know. I really don't. But um, like I said, if you can't get a circuit for a radio, you, you, you rely on your intelligence on what you see in boots on, on the internet. That is a the circuit for the uh, this set was many like it with silicon transistors. This one's a bit. This one had a germanium, which had, which had failed. So um, there in. That capacity is in, I don't you saw that better actually. And um, find uh, it says it says five megs, five, five megahertz, uh, sorry, five uh, microfarads on this capacitor. It's not, it's 4.7 it's going to go in. It doesn't make that much difference. So 4.7 meg capacitor in there, and uh, hopefully it'll. Um, It'll start to uh, beard itself a little bit more than it did. Right now, at this stage, now I've got the capacitors back in, and I've also modified the uh, output stage from 5.9 volts to 6.3 volts. And now, and now I've been much clearer, but with whistle. And also up here, it seems to be um, very, very um, unstable. So now we're going to look up here and find out what it was up here. Uh, again, I'm going to assume for now that the, the, the amplifier side of it is all right. The IFs are okay. So honestly, there's okay. Very good, man. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. There. There. Good. It doesn't want to know. So now, I will, I will now look at that car there. And uh, where is the board? 
and again we'll take it from there. But uh, with it uh, now actually working to some extent, we are getting on with this. And um, this is, a, a, like I said before, sometimes a simple radio, when it's been played back with before, before it came to me, I'm allowed to go to uh, acid as well, um, as you'll see from the board here. See there? It, you don't know what's wrong with it. But um, I believe that everything's so had a chance of being repaired, so of course I will have a look up here now. Um, the two cars here, um, and the wiring goes uh, underneath the board, underneath the uh, tuning knob there. So if I take that out now and look underneath again, hopefully we're gonna, we can see uh, if there's anything amiss. So now this knob comes off and we can look underneath at the tuning capacitor itself. So the tuning capacitor is faulty. Well, we'll have to, we'll have to put it on hold, but uh, that does not mean it, it will be scrapped because the radio and radio is useful, more useful than people, not to me anyway, you know. Anyway, that's uh, that's where we're up to it. So now, looking under here, um, I think, first of all, I noticed the screw, there's a screw missing here. One there, one missing there. So uh, it may be that. If I, that, I then resold all, all these joints here and take them to the, um, to the coil, then hopefully that might cure it. Um, I don't know for sure, but uh, just to heat them up and, and uh, make sure they're all um, going well to see what they do. Well, actually, they do, do, do look rather dry, actually. And also, the, these two, these white bars hit the top are joined together underneath here because the, the, the wave change which is missing so it could be that as well um, I don't know the moment about that one but I will find out uh, as soon as possible on that because I, I, I will um, go underneath here and make sure that th this is, isn't a problem as well because it could be this here it could be anything it really could but uh, if, it, if, if, it, if it's a tuning cap that's faulty then we, ha we have to put this thing on a hold but I'll check and make sure I don't think it is because it does tune okay. Right, well in this case actually the the, uh, the noise on the uh, output stage was coming from the output stage. Yeah, I know I missed something very simple actually. Um, well, might be simple to looking back but isn't the time. These sets, like I said, are very, very basic. And um, this one had Domanium MPN transistors in them which have replaced with PMP, and uh, as you'll see in a minute. And um, the medium have actually two capacitors to earth. And uh, with those not there, it now does not make any noises more than the ones it should. I demonstrate. That's what it was. So now we've got the job of putting this back together. Now when you're going to realign a set after this, don't do it on the bench like this. Put the thing back together as it should be and then realign it. Because even at RF, sometimes being out with the out of where it should be can affect the unit. So put it back in and then realign it when it's back in its case. In this particular one, actually, um, I um, I'm going to I'm going to leave out the uh, tuning stream because I uh, I really really listen to one station in the workshop, and that one station is one I'll leave it tuned to. But so uh, before we go that far, the uh, the radio must go back into its case. 
and we'll, uh, we'll realign it when it's safely back home where it should be. Okay, again, it's a simple thing, but always do these things with, with them where they're meant to be operating because otherwise it might might not work properly because other things might be in the way might cause problems so always do that with this with the, the set in the case where it should be uh, whether it matters uh, on the on the am at this level uh, is something which uh, you know remains to be seen but at the same time you know good practice is always good practice and whatever you're working on always use the best practice you can even with something like this because you'd be surprised how much uh, good practice pays off in the end believe me on, believe me on this it does so uh, that's something else which uh, we must uh, must take take on board. So uh, now we put uh, the set back where it belongs in its case, and then we'll realign it. Alignment, therefore, the, 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 the lots of the current things going on about alignment, like watch it for and that sort of thing. What it's for is it's, it's to, to align the IF and RF stages. Not the radio work to its best potential. It's and it it it's the trees is trees and written about you I press on the net, but it actually it's very, very simple. And any radio. With a set like this, a transistor set, inside there are um, different colours of tuner. This is a, an air on the set, yeah. Red, red the red tuner, which is this one here, is the is the oscillator. Don't touch that right away, okay? they got yellow, white and black. These four first of all, yeah? Now, in this case, we don't know what the uh, the eye should be. It doesn't matter that much, actually, on a set like this. So what we do, find out where it is, like that. And if it's in the area, which that one is about, uh, about four, two, uh, somewhere like four, four, four six, that'll do nicely. And then, you tune up the IF only, only the IF ones, not the other, but only the IF ones for maximum. That one, the right one, that order, and the back one. Okay. Do it several times. And get it on the on the on the frequency. By the way, always have two generators as long as you can get it. Because if, if you put it high up, the jaws uh, kicks in, the AGC kicks in, and uh, it doesn't do it properly. So always keep it as low down as you can. Okay. Some people use scopes or modulators. But it can get reasonable in this case. With just a read, like so, yeah? This is done on a... with no... with no... with, with two to off the station, okay? So, when that's done, the uh, two generator goes off, like so. And now we tune it to a station. This one's then more sensitive. As you can hear. Now, then this set, uh, I'm, I've left off, off the tuning stream because, uh, of course, really. What one set station I've been listening to, so um, for now I'm going to leave this as it is. Um, uh, so that goes on to there, 
and then I'll put the back on it and call this one finished actually. So um, it's as simple as that. The, the oscillate stages by the way, again, that's set up for um, both ends of the dial and, and there's also aero trimmers as well which on this seem to be okay so uh, again uh, it's just tune to a station or oh, what, what, what more frequency with the signal generator it's going to use and again if in doubt just tweak for maximum smoke it's very very simple that's really is all you need to know there are some sets like the, like the Murphy's book which what, to wait need two two generations and stuff but um, they, those always get manual for that but most cases if you haven't or, or in, a, in a set as cheap as this that'll do fine so um, this set is now uh, it's near done it's finished actually so um, might as well uh, put the uh, bike back on like so now that's it the back goes back on like that and uh, the battery now of course is um, a BP3 like that and there you go it's a working radio again And that's it, working radio again. It's an awful lot done to it, as this, for a cheap radio. And uh, I suppose, from the point of view of uh, finances, it wasn't worth it. But what you learn from doing a, a, a radio like this far outweigh, outweighs that. Um, first of all, on this one, we've learned a few things. And each one, of course, is something which, which we'll use in the future. First of all, it came in with a faulty uh, input stage, which I repaired and transferred to silicon from germanium by changing the resistance bias, uh, as, I say, as I showed earlier. And I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just got the circuit here again. Uh, not sure. Hang on. I, I did it. I, I know I did it. Here we are. Right. So, see, see from there. You see, it's the right way up. You see. I've done it by changing the this is in the set to those block values there you see and also taken off the uh, the two transistors that we used on domain but on silicon which, which get rid of get rid of the noise by reducing the gain just stay slightly and of course uh, that's okay so that that is one thing um the other thing of course that capacitor is uh, interesting as well that that what we're taking out and also, with with set of this kind, there's also a, a capacitor across the ba across the battery, which uh, which was iffy as well. If, if that goes high in value, um, it will of course drain the battery quicker. So always check that as well. Also with this, um, if you've not got the, the details on alignment, just set it set it up like I've done, and do the IS first, and then of course again. As far as the RFs go, if, if, if you want to, then the tuner has a, ha, has a, has screws on, on adjustments on it. Leave those alone if you can, but the, the, the other ones nearby you can check. And also remember, as far as the uh, the coloured uh, trimmers go inside, red is oscillator. All the other colours on on this one, this one, and it's coming on more on, on almost all radios. RRIF, which you, which you do align first, and always keep the sub generator as low as you can. And uh, at the end of the day, with this one, of course, there's more than one radio station I listen to here. I, 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 I won't be passing this one on, so um, it'll stop here. So I've got it in this stage now where it'll, um, it'll work on that station alone. It's the, uh, it's the, uh, it's the uh, gold station on from Global, which is um, which is is good for it. Uh, what's on this But anyway, it, there it is. It's working again, um, and like I said, it may, may, maybe not worth it financially. But what you learn from doing a job like this is, of course, well worth it. So any radio that can be repaired should, 
because what you learn from it in fault finding and other things you have to do to get work is stuff you can put away in your head or write down or, or, or whatever and it might come easy again it uh, probably will do so every radio has something to teach you in that respect valve transistor whatever so anyway this one is now uh, up and running and uh, on the station which I was listening to it. I might use it in here actually and give um, the this set that I normally use a bit of a rest actually. Um, but uh, there you are, it's a working radio and so on. Until next time, Steve from Steve Longsay Workshop wishes you all the best. By the way, I've had my job by the way, so I've been out, out for a couple of days during that because it, it did make me feel quite ill. But do have it, do have it. I'm not an anti anti vexer. I've got a Dyson. Haha. <laughs> but uh, you know, do have it because you know we need to get back to normal as soon as we can. Anyway, until next like time, be Lord say God, whoever he may be, and I'll see you soon and keep fixing radios. Bye bye. <laughs>